Listen up, partners. This is Good, Bad, Ugly on World Improv Network. Good evening, everyone. I'm Alex. My name is Asa. I'm Justin. And we are your astute wind counselors to get you through the week with any problems you might be facing or any daily grind issues that you're currently experiencing. So we got our first winner, and our first winner is Liz from Hartford, Connecticut, and she writes, Dear Wynn, I'm a seventh grade teacher and wondered what you guys think about President Obama wanting to cut out standardized testing in school. Recently, he stated, kids spend too much time taking unnecessary tests. Hmm. Ace, I think you got the look in the eye like you got an answer here. Yeah, I am a big fan of education. I don't think there should be any tests whatsoever. Mm -hmm. uh, I think kids, uh, it's just cruel and unusual punishment to kids to make them prove uh, in some you know, standard format of a bubble test. Uh -huh. You know, it should be more like, a, this should be more like projects. Like, all right, we've been studying the Civil War. Like, build a birdhouse that well, tells us about that. I, I mean, I, I see where Ace is coming from, but uh, let's be honest. We want our youth to know the one question that we all ask ourselves is like, did you Google it? Right. And I think all education should be Google-based. Okay. Like, what's four plus four? So, so it's Google basically how it. fast they get the response, not yeah. really they get the answer. Just gonna... Google it. Uh -huh. If we can just do, because I think that gets rid of standardizing uh, testing, but holds everyone to their own standard. Oh. Because if you want to Google it, you'll, you get to know that knowledge. So mm -hmm. Google is the standard. In a sense. Yeah, essentially is the standard. Okay. Um, well, I mean, I don't know. Asa was kind of touching on something, maybe like uh, some anxiety stuff, like almost like uh, you know, a kid being hooked up to electroshock and on Ritalin at the same time. I mean, time. that didn't happen to me. Oh, it didn't happen to you. Okay. But you're just saying in order to avoid children to have yeah, that Yeah, just so the kids don't get hooked up to car batteries well, right. if there is that kind of so battery test. Did standardized testing like stress you out? I was the guy no. that like Christmas treed the test. I was like, I don't care. C SAP scores. Uh -huh. <laughs> I was totally that guy. So them stressing me out is totally mind boggling. One of the main reasons why you're sitting across from me now. Hey, I still did the AP exam and I got a good score on it, but I still had enough time to do a goatee on my face with a highlighter. Hmm. <laughs> Which, if you take an AP exam, you get that. Well, you know, I kind of, I, <laughs> I kind of think that um, Liz, that maybe. Kids should definitely have to be uh, tested somehow to what they know, but on the same tone, collaborative efforts, <clears throat> like Ace was talking about, like building birdhouses, because clearly that explains the Civil War. I mean, building a birdhouse. I mean, well, it could. Yeah. We don't know. Let's give these kids a shot to right. express themselves through birdhousing or... Treehouse masters. Scary housing. Scary. Oh, Ooh, what about tiny houses? Everybody's on that kick. You yeah. Just get kids doing tiny houses. Plus, those are homes for other people to live in. Ah, yeah. solve the homeless by kids doing stuff. Child labor solves homelessness. That does. <laughs> we just found it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope that helped, Liz, because I'm sure it did. <laughs> Let's move on to our next winner then, and that's Suzanne from Portsmouth, England. And she writes, Dear Wynn, what do you guys think of Adele's new song, Hello? And can you sing us a verse? Oh, wow. A verse? Um, Not I, a fan. Okay, well, I'm... I'm you go. I, Alex, I, you look like a fan. Yeah, you, you look, you're chomping at the bit. Alex, go. Let's hear it. Well, since I, of course I have this uh, song memorized, you know, it's because they play it every hour, every 15, 20 minutes on every station here in Colorado. Uh, I think it goes like this. Hello, uh, baby! I said fire to the rain. Watch the flames go down your face. Burn it all in disgrace. Hello! I actually, uh, was that it? Was that, that, I, you know, I, I don't know the original version. I did bring in a tape though of the, uh, DJ drop, drop. The oh, beat. The, he's sweet. The drop, remix drop the that he yeah, did. He Do you guys want to check it out? Yeah, let's hear. Hello, 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 rolling in the deep, rolling in the deep. Rolling in the deep, rolling in the deep. I say hello, 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 hello. I'm gonna use a piano. Womp, womp. Wow, God, that's amazing. You know, you sounded just like him. I mean, I was I was watching the talking points for Chappelle's Davis, and you sounded just like him, Justin. I mean, that's pretty impressive. I, I'm a world famous impressionist. I know. If you, you haven't seen my impressions, I know. I know. So you're not a big fan, huh? Or you haven't heard it yet, Ace? Is that what you're saying? I don't have a radio. Yeah, that's right. Or I should say I don't have a car. It's not so true what's to the her point work. Of it's not true to her. Just joking. That last album was some rock and stuff. Yeah, that's true. Maybe it's because it's been three years, you know? 
And what, no one broke up with her since then? That's, yeah. Like Alana Moore said, same thing, right? Come on. After she got all that out, she really stopped making records because she had no one to break up with or mm-hmm. get breaking up um, mm-hmm. anymore. Yeah. I, uh, Taylor God. Swift had to break up with the whole music industry. Yeah. The sense of country to pop. I mean, mm-hmm. imagine that. Yeah. Do you remember that uh, thing Taylor Swift did where she, like, dated, uh, she took a, she went to prom with uh, me. a lucky high school student? Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, but how? I wonder what happened to that kid. I know. I bet you he is frustrated. <laughs> I bet you that was not the prom he wanted. Then again. <laughs> it was almost the prom he wanted. Then again, it's Taylor Swift. Yeah, but he slept in that hotel room he reserved alone. You know it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Why don't we call her up? You know, maybe we can get her on the uh, show next week and see what she can tell us the inside scoop on. Ah, uh, yeah. And we can get the Win Network. Like, we can get every, huh? like the masses. The, all, all of you. All. Help us get Taylor Swift here. That's right. So we can do our own personal prom. Well, no, so we can get to the bottom and get the real answer of what happened to that. Yeah, get to kid. the bottom. Yeah, about so regarding Adele. Right. And hello. So we'll get Taylor Swift on about it. <laughs> Taylor Swift, what's the deal with hello? By well, actually, no, the high school prom. I wanted to really know what happened to that kid. If he did sleep in the room by himself or what. You know, he totally did. He uh, was so excited. He, uh, he drained that mini bar. Yeah, probably. All right, well, we have Ta here from Karachi, Pakistan, and he writes, Dear Wynn, I recently moved to the U.S., and I'm trying to lose weight. Any suggestions on a great diet I should try? Um, yes, I got a great one, actually. I've been doing this one myself because I was extremely obese for the longest time, and uh, it's eating air. It's free. It's got no calories, mm-hmm. and you actually spend more calories eating the air than the, air, than the calories you take in from the air. But Alex, you're actually a healthy man. Like you're a well-built specimen, right? I wasn't always like this. Well, no, no, you had to breathe in all that air. All the air. I know. Um, see, I, I see. I was not as privileged as you with all the work that I did into myself. So I, I chose a different diet. What'd you do? Uh, so it, it's like air, mm-hmm. except it's it's called cigarettes. Oh, coxified and, air. Yeah, yeah. So I just have a smoke lunch, and it's just like from six a.m. to six p.m. Just I'm hungry. Have a menthol. Oh, I got gotcha. you. And not only is it, you know, kind of, I'm assuming it takes away the, you know, the desire to eat, right? But well, it, also, it also probably helps your body, you know, totally. not want to eat. And the sad reality is once I started this diet, I've dropped like 35 pounds. Man, congratulations. It's awesome. And why, do you give, why, is, why, why are cigarettes smoked in such a hard time these days, especially on air? Well, it's bad for you in other way. Other oh, ways. there way, is? Uh, yeah, there's a whole bunch of like health, like uh, not trade good off. things. Yeah, yeah, total really? trade off. If you can lose yeah. 30 pounds smoking cigarettes, what, what else could be Well, bad I'd rather side look effect. good for the time while I've got it instead of, you know, gotcha. just live out happy when I don't got it. Okay. Just got to keep it. Ace? I would recommend the try it diet, which is where whatever you're eating, you can only have like a Dixie cup portion. Oh. So you can eat whatever and however much you want, but you, if you're going to have like mac and cheese, a Dixie cup's worth. But oh. that's not like how, like how much ever, like it's only a Dixie cup. Right, right. So you can eat like any number of food items, but the portion is always Dixie Cup size. I love that diet. That's the, sweet. The so you like you can diet. go to a steakhouse and say, "I want my steak in a Dixie Cup, yeah. and that's the size I want." It's also called the Sam's Club diet. Oh, because okay. they have all oh, the samples. samples. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, nice, nice, <laughs> nice. Yeah. And you eat for free then in that case. Not only are you losing weight, you're not paying for anything if you just go to Sam's sure. Club every day. Yeah, that's also uh, a good way to go bar hopping. Is uh-huh. Just ask for samples of beers oh. and then say, I don't like any of these and go to another bar. <laughs> that's a good idea. You see a lot of different bars, meet a lot of different people. Oh, but- totally. And the servers love you. <laughs> <laughs> Without a doubt. Well, there's your answer, Ty, here. I think you got to go with Asa here. I think he's on to something better than me and better than what uh, Justin had to say. Hey. Okay. I mean, I like the smoker thing. I didn't know you could lose 30 pounds smoking. I don't know why I've always given smoking such a hard rap. It's a better option than eating. That's yeah, good point. All right. Well, Mary from Bangor, Maine writes, Dear Wynn, do you think high school kids should be allowed to grind and twerk during high school prom or homecoming dances? Wow, that's a pretty deep question. Well, I don't know if people should be allowed to do it in general. Oh, really? Is it visual pollution? Uh, which, yeah. I mean, uh, if it was like the music videos all the time, great. But it's normally like some... It's just, uh, just don't keep it, uh. Okay, so I think your answer right there, Mary, from Justin is, uh. It's weird. Uh. Just twerking's weird. Why would you want to do that? There's nothing attractive about that. Well, I, you know, I have a different take on this, Mary. I think, yes, they should be allowed to twerk and to grind, if and only if it's for a benefit. And the benefit uh. being is that they're working out their lower back, 
mm-hmm. and their upper back mm-hmm. in order they, so they can do manual labor. That would be the reason why. I, I'm against it totally because it contributes to global warming. Oh, because that's when you take it into the nightclubs, like Al Gore yeah, was saying. It's kind of a gateway. Uh huh. It's a gateway. Makes sense. It's, you take I away guess. the supply, right? Or you take away the demand, and then all of a sudden there's no more supply. I mean, I guess, honestly, like, if they were twerking and grinding to, like, hauling oats, that it, might not be so bad. That'd be fine. I don't know. If you, have you ever seen, like, a Big Frida concert? Yeah. Like, Big Frida, she all, like, has, she, she, uh, it's booty rock. So, Big Frida is now the solution. There it is. All right. Well, there's your answer, Mary. And we have one more little piece of inspiration to get you to the rest of the week, known as Horoscope Corner. Love. Fortune, status. Let us do your astrological chart. Horoscope Corner on World Improv Network. Hey there, guys. If you're coming in, the moon's not in retrograde anymore, but so are you, Gemini. Your retrograde is going to come in strong and kicking. Gemini. Thanks for listening to Win on Mile High Sports Radio. Don't forget to be a winner and interact with the cast by sending your suggestions or questions for each show segment throughout the week by hitting them up on Facebook at World Improv Network, on Twitter at World Improv Net, or by calling into the Mile High Sports Radio studio line on Sundays before or during the show. See you next week.